Good afternoon, keepers of the cash. Gary B, the casual comic guy here, and we are here with another new comic book day haul. So we are going to go through this, and uh, we got our coffee. There we go, some old Conan goodness. Great retro design on there. Start out with a sip. <clears throat> and today, I was surprised to get in the mail from, an, it's an anonymous AOK, -okay, but I received this Savage Red Sonia Wood Blood Splatter. I don't know who sent it. If you sent it, please reach out to, out to me on Instagram so I can properly thank you. So this is Red Sonia, uh, the PX Previews exclusive, and uh, this is her all bloodied up. So great little pop. You got the blood stains even on the on the plastic. Great art on the back. And uh, whoever sent this to me, thank you. It was a great surprise. Always love getting anything Coney and a Red Sonia in the mail. <clears throat> Never a bad thing. But without further ado, let's get into our new comic book day polls. So first we got... Scout Comics, Concrete Jungle, number four. Um, I'm not sure how many issues this is going to run, but been loving Scout Comics. Uh, just a lot of good stuff. We have Tarna, number two. All right, of course, we know Tarna from the Heavy Metal Universe and the movies. Okay, we have issue two of Red Sonia, The Price of Blood. I don't have, I don't, I don't know how many issues of this are going to be. This is the cosplay cover. So this is going to be the reader. Whenever I have a cosplay cover, it's the reader. I keep the art ones sealed and pristine because I don't really care about the cosplay covers at all. That they are, like I said, they're good readers. If you mess it up, so what? Uh, Shang-Chi, number five. That concludes this series, so I got to read that. Bounty Hunters, number nine. Great cover there. <clears throat> okay, and then we have Strange Academy number seven, the variant edition called Second Line. Fun little cover. Then we have, of course, Strange Academy, the A cover. Fantastic cover there. And look, Doctor Strange is always a win. He is one of the all-time best creations in comics, in my opinion. You will never convince me otherwise. He's just an incredible creation. Love Doctor Strange. He is absolutely fantastic. And um, any book with him in it is a book I'm more than willing to check out. Okay, another end of a mini series, Werewolf by Night number four. So I got to read this mini. We have Dynamite number four, the cosplay cover. So of course, that's the reader. And then Dynamite number four, Deja, Deja Taurus cover. There we go. Mega Man Fully Charged number six, another series that is ending with this issue, so we can read that. Tales of Science Fiction, another last issue in a series. This is a John Carpenter series. Um, one I found out about far too late. I only have two issues, so I gotta get uh, one through six. I have seven and eight. All right, so another Scout Comics, and this is called Steak. Fun little cover there. And uh, I really like the horror stuff that Scout Comics has done. And this does not look like it's going to be any different. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy that. All right. Another, and a lot of series ended this week. It ended up being a big week just because so many series all came out the same week that are ending. So The Unkindness of Ravens, number five. I've really been looking forward to reading this, and now I can sit down and do it in one shot. Okay, we have Strange Adventures number eight. It's just been a fun little series too. Look guys, a DC book. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so we have Star Wars, The High Republic, number one, the second printing. Go on my two uh, first printings. So introducing Keeve Trennis. So I think that's her first appearance on the uh, cover. A lot of first appearances on the cover, I believe. So we have Red Sonya number 23. This is the J. Lee cover. Eh, kind of simple. But uh, this 
initial run wraps up with issue 24 and I'm curious if they're going to keep going after 24 if they're just going to start a new number one with a new creative team because the writer of uh, this arc is done after his two year stint okay Red Sonia of course Lizner cover all right and then we have Captain Marvel number 25 and I know the movie turned a lot of people off. Don't let it turn you off from the comics. The comics have been phenomenal. I like the movie, but I love the comics. The comics have just been fantastic. There's been so many new characters in this run. Uh, Kelly Thompson has just killed it writing it. It's just been absolutely fantastic. Month after month, consistently excellent. So we have, of course, the Alien variant. And this probably this one and the Spider-Woman are my two favorite Alien variants so far. I mean, that's just great. Just a great homage to the first Alien movie with the cat. So, you know, of course you got the flurkin, not the cat. But fantastic, fantastic cover. Okay, then more barbaric goodness. We have Conan the Barbarian number 18. And just look at that cover. I mean, there's nothing to say about it. It's just fantastic. Can't wait to dig into this and see how it's going with the soul sword he's got. All right, so we got Savage Avengers number 17. And I'm hoping the King in Black tie-in isn't going to mess with the magic that's been this title. This title's been phenomenal. It's been one of the best titles at Marvel. And I really hope the King in Black uh, crossover doesn't mess with it. And this cover is great. Uh, Savage Avengers number 17. We got Conan... Uh, Battle on Wade Wilson. So, really nice. And then, to round it all out, we have Star Wars Adventure Smuggler's Run number two. And the first one had some first Star Wars appearances in it. But if you guys want to know anything Star Wars and first appearances, I would recommend Sith Lordly's channel. You need to go check his uh, videos out. He breaks it all down and he does it so well. But that's our new comic book haul for the week. It was... um. It was pretty big. A lot of great books. Uh, I got a lot of reading to get to. And I just started reading uh, Something's Killing the Children. It's just been too much hype around it. So I got the first trade. Um, two issues in. Loving it. And um, But for now, that's it, guys. That's our comic book day haul. I got a few comic uh, series reviews coming up. And until next time, keep it casual.